Good afternoon, this is Michael Hanley from AmericanChina.org in Chongchun, Jilin province. Yesterday when I was on the train going from Luanhe to Chongchun, I met a Chinese girl, 23 years of age and presently attending a university in Australia. She's on break right now. The reason why she was on the train going to Chongchun was because she was going to meet her boyfriend and friends to go skiing. She didn't tell me about the boyfriend until about two hours into the conversation. She absorbed as much of the attention as she could get before making the startling revelation. But that's not really what the focus of the video is, is on. The focus of the video is on one of her friends. She mentioned that her friend at university in Australia, who is a Chinese national, is 21 years of age, but she's had over 50 sex partners in her life. She told me that she has sex with multiple men per week. Uh, I saw the pictures of her. She has like double D breasts, which is quite unusual for a Chinese girl, and quite voluptuous. She's got the hips and she hasn't put any stomach fat on. That'll come later. She's only 21 years of age. So she is quite voluptuous, voluptuous for any woman, let alone a Chinese girl. You could see the eroticism just exuding forth from her in the pics and she was wearing provocative attire and all of them she had pics of uh, different boyfriends white guys uh middle eastern guys uh an african guy and we, we discussed the african guy and she said she liked the african guy because she had a he had a large penis uh he wasn't particularly attractive his facial features were not attractive at all though he was uh, fit uh, in terms of muscularity uh masculine so uh, obviously that's what she's searching for. She's looking for more masculine men uh, so she can have short-term sexual interactions. Essentially what she's doing is she's riding the concupiscent centrifuge in, during her university days, which is typical of Western women. And uh, I was utterly flabbergasted by it uh, because it's quite rare in China for a uh, Chinese woman at that age to have so many sex partners. I've known a, a few, but just a handful who have mentioned it about to me that they've had this many sex partners in the high range of like 25 to 50. That would be more, more or less seen in the West, in Australia, Canada, Europe, the United States. It's uh, less, off seen, less often seen in East Asia, you know, unless they're working as a uh, sex worker. But uh, for a university girl to have over 50 sex partners is quite rare. And so that's why I was quite, quite fascinated by her recount of the story. I believe she was telling the truth. I mean, there's no reason why she would make this up. I mean, they're not best friends, but they're pretty good friends. And they live, live near each other on campus and they go out regularly. So there's no doubt about it that the revelations were true. She, she also loved has sex without condoms as well. And, and I was uh, quite uh, surprised about that because uh, she's having sex with Western men and Western men on average have more sex partners than Chinese men do and there's more HIV in the West. And she mentioned having sex with an African man in Africa, HIV is much higher than it is anywhere in the world. And I imagine she was having sex without condoms with him. So that's quite risky. Uh, dangerous behavior, uh, part of her impulsivity, which again is rare in East Asians. East Asian women are a lot less impulsive than you'll see among women in the West. That's for damn sure, the men are less impulsive as well. But uh, I was quite fascinated by the story and I found it humorous as well. Uh, I can't say uh, she had the most attractive face, she had the voluptuous body, I certainly would not uh, decline a sexual interaction with her, that's for damn sure. Have a good day. This is Michael Hanley from AmericanChina.org. Have sex or die.